All right, folks. We're getting close to the end here. Oh. This entire mission will have been for nothing if we can't get out of here. Have you made contact yet? The signal's weak. But I think it'll go through. Do you read? Can you pick up our signal? Not clearly, but we're still picking you up. We're starting our data transmission. I'll have to give you the sit rep now, sir. Once we reach the surface, we'll be able to target with the cannon there. We were also able to procure some re-entry capable VSs. But now, we're trapped inside the facility, and we can't blast our way out without the- I'm aware of your situation. I'm working on my end to open up those locks. Sir, but how? Let's just say I have some connections in Nedek. Disengaging lock. open so long. We need to get back down to the surface. Now. What about you? We'll handle things here. Support while you target with the cannon from down there. Thank you. All of you. I have one more favor to ask you. What is it? I want you to send a message through Neos to everyone on EDM 3. I'll see what I can do. Cannon's cooling phase is almost complete. We'll probably enter the second phase of radiation as you enter the atmosphere. Set it to activate as soon as you touch down. Copy that. Lancelot, all systems go? Ready, sir. Tristan, standing by. Percival, good to go, sir. All right, men. We're going home. Yes, sir. Alright, so the basic idea here is you can't die in this stage. All you can do is just, um, try not to get hit like I just did. I'm gonna try and keep quiet because it's gonna come to an, something really epic here really soon. Here it comes.
120 below freezing. Damn over G is gonna turn this planet into an ice cube. Open up. Ready to open hatch. Unlocking outer shell. Camelot here. Sound off and form up on me. Lancelot, copy that. Tristan here. I'll be there soon. Percival, standing by. Don't forget to take the GPS units. We're gonna need them. Okay, so first of all, that impact should have killed every single one of them. And secondly, built for re-entry, my ass. <laughs> no way were those rebuilt for re-entry. As you can see, I got a B rank on this one because, hey, I got hit a few times. But there's literally no way of dying. You could sit the controller down and just listen and re-enter and you would be fine. So... On this next mission, basically, if you're playing with four people, uh, you start off alone, as you can see here. Welcome back, men. Now regroup with the rest of your team. I'll be sending you rendezvous coordinates. So yeah, you're all fighting in different directions. You're all in different directions trying to move towards the same area. Now, I only chose to take one AI partner with me this time. which was probably for the best. Uh, regen grenades. Don't need them. Now you want to be careful because, you know what, I should have taken spark grenades for this part. Regen grenades again. I think they're trying to tell me something. That was intelligent. Hey, look, it's my AA buddy. <sighs> you suck. You suck so many kinds of balls. Oh, goody. There's another one. And a safe one. That was fair. Oh, it's on now, boys. Just in time, too, because there's fucking four of them on the, rat, on the map. And the, uh, night vision does not do jack. Oh, come on! Really? Yeah, I know, I'm out of thermal. Uh -huh. Down to you and me, big guy. <sighs> now. Activate this before I freeze to death. Uh, I hadn't intended to activate this particular data post. It looks like it was one of the ones that my AI buddy was supposed to use. But I got knocked off course, so what are you gonna do? Alright, there's another data post to make up for the energy I just lost. Oh, goody! There are three more! You know, I would love a shotgun. Ah. 
Oh, I got him. All right. Don't you do it. I can see it in your eyes. I told you not to. Damn it. How many of these bastards are there? Damn it, I lost the grenade in the snow. My AI buddy. No, no, there he is. He's off to the right. Or the left. He's helping. Damn it, stop turning. Where's the grenade? Did it blow up? I didn't hear it. No, my AI, my AI buddy wasn't there. He took off on his own. Beardo does not approve of your actions, Kevin. I'm way off course. On average, if you're by yourself, you should only have to activate two data posts. That's it. I got knocked off course and ended up having to activate someone else's data post, which means four for me. And all the enemies that it entails. Now I'm low on ammunition. Fuck you! Now I'm low on ammunition. Fortunately, there is a base where I'm going. Yeah, see, there it is. That's right, I'm gonna fight him. I'm gonna fight this mofo. Maybe. Yeah, this is a good idea. Fighting a giant acrid in a blizzard, and the only way to see him is to get up in his face. Screw that, I'm out. Get inside here where it's safe. Now, this next mission would be considerably easier if I had a very specific weapon, but I did not think to equip it. I wasn't going to equip it until I hit Chapter 4, which is after this. So I am just going to have to make do. So to start things off, they give you machine gun. Activity is off the charts. Do whatever it takes to suppress them. Yeah. They start you out with weapons that are fully loaded. That's never a good sign. You know what? I'm going to go on ahead and equip this. First thing you want to do you want to activate this data post so you can get a sense of just how many enemies are around you. This is a great place to earn experience and boxes. See, it may not look like it right now, but it's going to get crazy. Now, I want those shotguns. Actually, you know what? I'm going to switch to the shield because I want to see... I can get my buddy here to help me out. Come on. I'm not sure which way it fired. Or if it even fired in the right direction. I'm gonna stick a shotgun, because the shotgun is good. Now, this is... what is this? Pure flamethrower goodness. Now, I'm not sure why I'm not being attacked all around. I think it might have something to do with the fact that I'm not on the... that 
I wasn't on the ground before, but now that I am... Ouch. There we go. Oh, wow. That was intelligent. I'm trying to get away from this exploding acrid. Oh, he's dead. One arm. Other arm. All right. So basically, stay on the ground and don't stop moving. Damn it! Keep landing right next to those exploding bastards. Alright, here comes the big one. Spirito welcomes all challengers. Don't ask me how a shotgun knocked over something that big. So easily. Up here, though. Come on now. The number of acres is decreasing. Come on, let me fire. There we go. Damn it. What are you talking about? They're an acred all over the fucking place. You're in proximity of the overchief field. Until we determine the entry point, proceed to the elevator. Ah. the information now. Check your radar. Oh. Worth it. Bullshit. Bullshit. I was out of the way. Generally, I don't leave the field until I've killed all these acres or at least reduced their numbers and I don't have to worry about them anymore. But as you can tell, I got killed a pretty fair distance away. It'll blow up. Give it time. Energy. I need more of it. Actually, I could use something with a little more oomph than this, than machine guns. I like machine guns as much as the next guy, but come on. Give me something to work with here. That is not going to work. Well, this might help. Might, being the operative word here. Ooh, wait, wait. I bet this is something good. 
Oh, come on, open. Oh, fuck. Get off that weapon, it's mine. Oh, my eyes are starting to burn. Get away. There. Now I'm safe. Mostly. Taking energy with some energy. Oh, no, no, I need more energy. So as you can see, the party is still in full swing, and will be for a little bit. Oh, you didn't reload? Come on, Beardo, what the hell, man? You're better than this. That was some bullshit. What the hell? I am not dying to some little piss ant acre. All right. The shotgun, good. So most of the spots you see now should just be like acrid generators. We get at least a thousand units of energy here before I take off, and we're good. Oh, that was you, Kevin. So all that's left now are just destroying these acrid reproductions. Alright. Now the thing I definitely want to do here is stay on this line, because as you can see here, I'm getting a crazy huge amount of... Oh, no, 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 I'm not. No, I'm not. I don't know what I'm talking about. Stay on this line, and you'll start getting more and more thermal energy. But one of the things I want to do here is we're about to walk into a huge boss fight. So the first thing I want to do is I want to try and find myself a VS. And I know there's one, like, right over here. So I'm going to try and get over there and get it without triggering the fight, but that might not be possible. We'll find out. Nope. Boss fight triggered. Work quickly. Work quickly, Beardo. Enter. Take that. Thank you. So, I get to fight. As soon as it tries to show itself, a couple of big worms. There, there they are. Hopefully, I'm in shit thing where I can't do anything about them. So I'm going to take the opportunity to go ahead and activate the data post. And maybe, uh, no, I don't want to take that. So there's plenty of thermal energy wandering around here now. Little known fact, you can actually wander away from that little outpost area and head here early. Like, uh, back when you're still trying to find your way to the outpost so you don't trigger all those acrid. But if you get too close to it, you'll actually start losing health and die. 
So uh, you have to actually go through the fight all the acreage and then move on then. Where are you, fucking worm? Oh, there's one. Make up your mind. Which side of your head do you want to present to me here? So one thing you can do, the weak point naturally, are the orange spots in there. But be careful when he does that. That's his I'ma eat you attack. You can kind of lock the worms into a stay above ground sequence by constantly shooting and destroying their weak spots here. If you can keep doing that, they'll stay above ground and you can just keep damaging them. Of course, the trick is to keep doing it. Come on. There we go. This fight can be a little tricky to do when you're on foot. But only a little. Now that takes care of all those weak points here. I'm gonna have to actually wait until he goes underground and presents his backside. Now my AI buddy should be keeping the other worm occupied, so it should be uh should be all good. There he goes. There goes the other worm. Oh excellent. Whenever he's on the ground like that, I should say, whenever he's shooting like that, you definitely want to keep moving. There we go. That's why you want to keep moving. Now this is going to get hard. Because not only did I lose a VS, I lost a good weapon. There's another VS I can get. And another energy weapon, which should help things along. The trick is just getting to that VS. I'm not entirely sure where it is. It is not this way. Although a shotgun would go a long way towards making this fight easier. All right. I know the other VS is like off to the side somewhere. No, that's not it. That's just rocks. There's like at least two or three other VS units that you could find around here somewhere. Where are they? I was sure there was one around here, somewhere. Alright, I didn't want to have to fight on foot, but I might not have a choice. Yeah, yeah. Get moving so he doesn't eat me. Not probably. The ironic thing is, I'm sure I'll probably find the damn thing after I don't need it anymore. Oh, that killed it. Fuck yeah.
I'm not sure if shooting him in the mouth is the best way to go. Alright then. <clears throat> that takes care of him. Good job, Kevin. I know where I'm going. We want to go over here towards this Superman-esque looking crystalline wall. Fortress of Solitude. That appears to be growing. Alright, so aside from that one embarrassing death... No, no. That's the one you want. Aside from that embarrassing death, I think it did well. Hmm. Time for another interactive cutscene. of snow pirates gathering in response to your call, sir. Our recon teams also report that the Overland battleship stolen from Nevik is currently on a course to the site. Our radar reports confirm this. Incoming message from Neo, sir. Put it through. Everything all right up there? Outer layer detachment is almost complete. We tried our best, but some of the sections are going to impact the surface. I see. Very well. You've done what you can. You should make your escape now. The cannon is still functional. We'd like to stay here a little longer and see what else we can do. Understood. But I don't expect you to die up there. Thank you for your concern. Snowfield? They'll make contact with the Order G before us. Reporting the situation. We've taken a position at the Over G, but there's a barrier preventing us from moving in. A barrier? What kind? Not sure, but it would take a lot of firepower to penetrate. <laughs> Identify yourself. You want to take down that barrier? We got what you're looking for. We appreciate the help. We got our own reasons for doing this that have nothing to do with helping you. Once that barrier is down, you're on your own. As you wish.
Yeah, I pushed the wrong button. Whoops. I hit R1 and L1 by reflex instead of R2 and L2. But yeah, in a cutscene like that, um, pressing the wrong button, the cutscene will still play out. It's not like Resident Evil 4 where pressing the wrong button means game over, you gotta do the whole thing over again. So this is it. See? 14,000 career points. So we're this is it. We are on... Moving on to Episode 6, Chapter 4, the last chapter, the final battle. So, one more video, folks.